Welcome to In Sickness and In Health, the podcast where we chat about all the nitty gritty details in marriage and relationships as we find out the non-negotiables, the things you absolutely wouldn't put up with in, in sickness, sickness and, and in health. health. Thank you, Claire. Welcome. Each week we'll discuss a topic and on some occasions we'll be joined by a guest whoop, whoop. Who, can, uh, who can give us an insight into their deal breakers and things they could not to- tolerate. Oh. That fucking word. Tolerate. So well done, all didn't they? Yeah. You've got a fucking card in front of you as well. So I can't. It's fucking amazing. You've got cards. We don't have to introduce who's here this week. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> don't forget that you can get stuck in by participating in polls and sending us messages at In Sickness and In Health podcast. And if you do like this podcast, we I'd really appreciate it. Claire doesn't like this. She thinks it's a bit sort of beggy. I just don't care. If you don't like it, don't listen to it. I don't That's care. That's fine, but I do care. And if you do like it, give us a review. Tell us how much you like it because I read them. They make me feel good. <laughs> Apart from the ones that make me feel bad. Um, so, yeah, give us a review. Five stars, all that stuff. That'd be great. Thank you. Five stars. The cheeky you. Yeah. Anything less than five stars is no good. Right. Okay. Doesn't help. What's happening today? What's happening today? Today we are joined by a guest. We are. Again, um, one of our friends. We always like to uh, wheel him out when we need a little ratings boost. <laughs> and uh, and he always oh. does. He always does it for us. He always comes through for us. Yeah, of course I do. The man, the myth, the legend that is. It's Danny Dyer. It's Danny, Danny Dyer. Dyer. Let's get a round of applause. It's lovely. It's lovely to be here, honestly. I'm very, I'm very chuffed. How you doing? You're All very right? professional people now. This is it's weird for me because that's it. That's the professional mates. bit. But yet you're sitting here. You got your own set. There's a fucking crew. It's very exciting to me. <laughs> you look excited. You yeah, do. I really. Yeah, I've got fucking Stella in me. That's it. Or well, a Yuri Geller or a, or a Nelson. It's a it's an unfiltered as well. Yeah. It's you right. are always guaranteed stuff. a Stella, no matter what it's we do. It's ice cold, Claire. That's the key, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's good. Nothing isn't worse it? than a fucking warm Stella. We've had a couple. Yeah. We made that's, our feelings well, very to, clear about ah, that. To be fair, that's why they're ice cold I now. See, ah, see, was, big, uh, this is what I'm saying. They're big time now. It did come up in a HR meeting. You did it? Yeah. The beer wasn't cold enough. You can't have one fucking beer. <laughs> <laughs> um, how are you, mate? You good? Mm. I'm wonderful. You're all right. It's um. Uh, it's a mad time for me because I'm unemployed for the first time in 11 years. Wow. Which is a kick out the bollocks. I haven't been employed for 11 years. Well, no, because <laughs> I saw you. I'm the opposite. No, it's bollocks. Because <laughs> I saw you with your thing with Neil Morrissey. That's right. Your finders yeah. keepers. Yeah. That's right. Which was a nutty old concept, wasn't it? Yeah. Did so you watch any of it? I've not well, watched I any of it. Bit, bit <laughs> but, but, oh, but, you know, it was uh, a good bit of graft, wasn't it? I mean, so it you was have really been really good fun. He's a good bloke, Neil. Yes, I worked with him many moons ago. On yeah, and uh, probably one of the worst films I've ever made, called Run, Run For Your Wife. Right. <laughs> I'm not going okay. to it, but uh, <laughs> he was a nice geezer. Uh, he's been around a long time, hasn't he, Morrissey? Yeah. That's you know. it. He's um, Still got a boozer and all that, has he? Like, he's yeah, he's still got his pub. Yeah. Still makes his ale. Palace, palace his ale. fucking ale, doesn't he? Yeah. Palace ale? Palace ale, yeah, he's a big palace fan. Oh, is he? Yeah. yeah. Mm. I didn't yeah. know that. Good bloke. So, yeah, so, yeah, I'm just sitting about fucking driving myself mad at the moment, so... If I'd pop in and see you. Oh, thanks, mate. Um, Go on. I thought this might be a good opportunity. I mean, I told you this story oh, no. for the Here first time only a couple of weeks ago, and I was like, have I not told you about this? Um, oh, sorry, have I got... just got a little bit of... What is it? A bit of eyebrow. Yeah. See? <coughs> thanks, Claire. Um, no, I thought, because, um, you know, I've got, yeah, I've got another actor with me. Right. I thought Danny might be able to appreciate... This little story. Do you remember okay. when I was telling you about the time I auditioned for a Zac Efron movie? <laughs> yeah. I was in LA, I was doing the pilot season thing, and um, I got this script to come through. It's for the for a Zac Efron movie. First of all, it was it was for a comedy. What? And um, I've got a little bit, nothing against uh, Zac Efron, oh. yeah, nothing against him, but I got a little bit of a thing about. People who are just actors that to go, oh, I can do comedy. Right. So if you get Zac Efron and Will Ferrell doing a movie, yep. that's good. You, you, you got, if you get Zac Efron and The Rock doing a comedy movie, who's the funny person there? When they're two straight men. Exactly. Yeah. And that was Baywatch, essentially. Right. Um, so anyway, I got, this, I got the sides come through. They said, oh, we're putting you up for this, this, this Zac Efron movie. It's a good part. I was like, all right. And I looked at it. And um, the part was the sort of cool, sort Sexy. of jock guy. <laughs> Hunky. Right. 
And Zac Efron was like the comedy. And I was like, <laughs> right, so Zac Efron's the little nerdy geezer in this film. And I've got, and Zac Efron's got to be like, oh, I wish I was like him. <laughs> So why am I wow. why am I being put forward to for this? <laughs> I even said it in the audition. I went, I'm wasting your time here. <laughs> wow. Like I auditioned for a film where Zach Efron's got to go, oh he the, the, James, he's so cool, that guy. I wish I was more like him, but I'm just a funny idiot. <laughs> well so what? You don't think you're cool enough to be cooler than Zac Efron? I don't know. He's well he's got he's the that's his thing, isn't it? That's his thing, handsome. Well, Good. that's what it, I was going to say. It didn't say... He's a triple threat as well. It didn't say you were the handsome one, did it? No, but that was the vibe. Like, like he was useless with women and I was so great with women and right. stuff. Right, OK. Like, how's, how what does that work? Film? Did it come out? Is it... I don't... I, I don't... I actually tried to look it up and see if anything came out. I don't trust the process, I've got to be honest. Um, but I don't know if it did come... This was a few years ago as well. Um, but have you ever gone up for anything that was just, t like... Or do people just go, oh, this is great. We'll get Danny Dyer. The early into years, this. no. I, I, yeah, I went up for a film called Defiance with Daniel Craig. Oh, that's right, yeah. Uh, Jamie Bell. Yeah. And uh, a Polish uh, resistance fighter. Yeah. And I just, I just. You were to play that? I tried to do a Polish accent. Oh, okay. Fucking, I, I you just, did it? Yeah. I had a go, babe. But I, did, <laughs> I, I just put the script down. I said, I'm going to, I think I'm going to shoot yeah. it off. <laughs> The, I could, We're I could going feel up the, the tension in the room. Pairs. Yeah, but I, 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 I just don't know where would you start with it. You know, you can go and get you know like a. Did Daniel Craig have a Polish accent? Yeah, they did. Yeah, you? they all did it. They all went for it. They all done it. Yeah. But you were in a Daniel Craig. You were in a I film, did a film with called Daniel The Trench with him. Yeah. yeah, before he was James Bond. Yeah. And Killian Murphy. Yeah. Who was an extra in it really? Yeah. You know. You That's love really Killian Murphy. Film. I love Killian Murphy. Um, but I love the film The Trench. I absolutely love the film. Years before I met you, I'd watched so many of your films and stuff and i do um i do say this and I've, I've told you this before and i do stand by it the business is one of the best british films oh, ever God. made it's always going on about that ever made it's so is good it right? and i'm so I, like it's up there with anything michael Caine's done like get car or anything like the business is such a great very kind of you film. both i think it was a it was a mad bit of work that wasn't it it was it, called, it was it's basically nick love just nicking everything he's ever seen from gangster films Putting it together and then dressing us in beautiful eighties clubber. It's great. I mean, you like all that there vintage gear anyway. Short shorts. Yeah, like I that. couldn't get them fucking shorts on now, babe. Very <laughs> short shorts. Yeah, they, I couldn't pull them off with a pair of tits. You know, it's, <laughs> it doesn't work. But uh, I think it was a beautiful piece of work. You don't really got to be an adult to watch it. Do you know what I mean? You can be pissed up watching it, and all the storylines quite simple to follow. And I just think the look. He got the look and the music, and because it was produced by Rockstar Games. Oh, who, right? who produce our films? Who've just chucked some money in my last film I've done with him? So we've got their back catalogue of music, which is oh, brilliant. which is incredible. So yeah, you can make a low budget film and put good tunes in it. Music was great and it did look great. great and it was just fun. Long time ago, though, man. We're talking about twenty fucking years ago. Really? I mean, look at the fucking state of me now. <laughs> you look. <laughs> fat. I'm just an old granddad. And that's why I got my granddad little car. I, 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 I embrace a being a grandfather. I embrace it. In fact, I remember when um, your daughter, little Danny, what, the, what's what we call her? I don't know if yeah, everybody... No, I think Dan. people well, just know her Well, she's little Dan, I'm big Dan. Yeah. But um, the first time you came around us, um, after she had her twins, James just kept saying to you, just like, granddad of three. Granddad, granddad of three. Granddad of three. How many grandkids you got? Just three. Yeah, just a three. <laughs> <laughs> uh, early yet. <laughs> 46 and I've got three. Yeah. But I suppose... Me and Joe, we was having a roll about very, very young. And she, uh, <laughs> you know, I remember the first time I, she allowed me to touch one of her lils. Right. Uh, which is <laughs> one a, of her what? Her lils. Her what lils. does that mean, babe? A carpet, a, a lil, um, uh, a tit. Right, OK. And it was in the shoot room uh, in Custom House in, on the council estate. Very romantic setting. It sounds yeah. great. Uh, with the dustbins behind us. Uh, yeah. it was, but it was through her coat. So Have it wasn't... Wasn't full on, Good but uh, have you written this down? This, uh, this, uh, we, I feel like there's a. I think it's in my book. I think I'm sure. It's definitely it a, a movie romantic there. moment. I mean, you got to think we were 13 at the time, weren't we? Hey, baby. Joe's here, by the way. See, because well, what I was going to say is because this podcast obviously is all about sort of relation. Well, mm. it's supposed to be mm. about relationships and all that sort of stuff. And you were always in quite a difficult position today because your wife, Jo, is one of my best friends. Uh, well, I know that. So anything you did say 
I was ready, you know. That's the thing but as well. I the, hate it. I hate it when these two meet up. Yeah, the good oh, thing you go, is go though, oh, you're just going to slag yeah. us off, aren't you? That's do they not only do. know each other through us, though? Yeah. And then they've took it to the next That's level. That's it, yeah. They've yeah. become better friends than we're, us. Yeah. We're much better friends than you two are. Well, yeah. I, yeah. I just think we're a bit more laid back about friendship. You know? It's not, <laughs> not as intense. No. No, you know? I, like, I know everything. Oh, Christ. Well, I know. Well, we talk... And don't think we don't fucking talk because... <laughs> Because we do, darling. Don't you worry yourself about that. <laughs> but I was thinking, Danny is. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to have my my mates back if he gets a bit too cheeky about her. But Joe is here, so she is here. Anytime, just give me the eyes, and I'll I'll help you out. I'm not brave enough, darling. Believe you, fucking me. Okay. <laughs> but I, I think that's the thing that we can bond over most is that we have, and I mean this in a loving way. Uh -oh. We both have. Scary women yeah. in our lives. Fucking petrifying to be Yeah, fair. absolutely. <laughs> you know, you, you, every day's a fucking lesson, and every day you, you just want to make you just want to make it to the end of the day and, get your, and finally get your nut on the pillar. Sometimes you just want to sometimes you just want to slip through, unharmed. don't you? <laughs> you know, every that's that's the key, isn't lesson. it? But you know, yeah, we've been together. Fucking hell, 30 odd years. You yeah, know. so you guys met when you were 13. We were in a school together. That's... And, uh, I was the trampy kid. She was the fit kid. You know, that was good at dance, you know, looked good in a leotard. Right. And, uh, and I was the kid she took no notice of for two years. And I'd watch her from afar, you know, with me binoculars and stuff. And, <laughs> and then one day she turned round and sent her mate over to me because she wanted to go on a date. Oh, so she made the first move? She fucking called it. Yeah. <sighs> so she was psychic. She knew I was going to crack on in life. That's that. Even though I was a trampy kid and I'd hand me down clobber, single parent family. She saw something because she, she's got witch ways about her. Yeah, yeah, she does. You know, so she knew I was going to crack on. And so we went on a date and we went to Pizza Hut. Oh. And I was very excited about because I don't think I'd been, I only peered at Pizza Hut from outside the window. I was so skint as a kid, <laughs> you know. Um, and uh, we had a salad bowl. We shared a salad bowl, which I still do now. We go in there now and again. To just and it tastes exactly the fucking same. It's probably bowl. the same. Same bollocks, fucking potato lettuce salad, still there. Thousand Island dressing, the little bacon bits, <laughs> and it's quite romantic. That's what that's what romance is for me. Yeah, munching on the same grub that we was eating thirty five fucking years ago. But you can be quite romantic when you want to be, can't you? Well, you've got to define what romance is. What is it? I would say romance is because um, you were working solidly, like <clears throat> on EastEnders. Didn't have much time. No. So you wrapped that up and you thought, right, taking everyone on a beautiful holiday. Maldives. <laughs> Gonna take care of everyone. You're coming with me and your babe. What did she say? Yeah, she didn't fancy it. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've had rows, we've had rows since. Now, now, let's have it right. This is a, you've got your own desert island I've paid for. It's, it's this fucking unbelievable gaff. Do you know what I mean? And uh, she, she said, and she has said in rows that it was a shit hole and she wouldn't want to go back there, <laughs> which I find fucking incredible. <laughs> you know, I don't think she means it. <laughs> uh, but yeah. she's just trying to hurt you, Dan. Yeah, no, but she's good at that. She's 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 the only one that can really make me want to stand in a room on my own screaming, wanting to rip my own fucking ear out. <laughs> no one else on the planet can do it. But she brings me back down to earth, and I need that in life. Yeah. Yeah. I need to be grounded yeah, every, every half hour. Yeah. Get a bit too big for your boots, do you? you do. I don't think I do. But I think because I've got, I'm quite famous well, and I do have people sucking around my arse yeah, a lot. Yeah, it's not the stories I've heard. And um, not literally. But, you know, it's weird fame and it's and it can be can fuck your head up. You don't quite know who you are. and But she she reminds me. Exactly. As soon as I walk through that fucking door. There you go. Yeah, you do the same. That's you, what I'm you here You do the for, absolute it, same, Claire. There was a couple of years ago, there was some daft uh, news article about me that just made me look like a fucking idiot. What was it now? What have you done now? No, no, this is, cut, this is a while back. Now, oh, right. now I'm really safe. I don't say anything. I don't crawl out Oh, you out nearly got cancelled? No, I didn't get, I didn't get cancelled. I just said something. I said a joke. It was about flat earthers. God forbid. Ah. And I said a joke, <laughs> and um, it was picked up as if I was being serious. I don't think the Earth's flat. Of course you Nor as if you do, but I don't. I made a bit of a flippant comment. It got picked up, and I was like, oh, why have they done that? Why, like, That's what they do. You know, though. like it's like being bullied by the bigger kids. Mm. You go, well, I don't have the, you know, the audience and the reach that you do. You're just sort of hanging me out to dry for no reason. I got really upset about it, and then you went... 
who do you think you are? <laughs> no one gives a fuck. Wow. If anyone's read that article, they've already forgotten about yeah, it. Yeah, that was my point. And that's I, good advice. And I had to that was my point. Right. Oh, that's I, not bringing but, you back. Yeah, that's, that's nice. But I get In my it, head, though. I was like, oh, my God, the whole world has decided that, that I'm an idiot. a big yeah, idiot yeah, yeah. and they and don't I like get me that. anymore. Listen, reading something about <coughs> yourself, I get that. And you think, oh, my God, everybody in the world read this yeah. and everybody thinks this. And I was just a bit like, listen, nobody really cares. I was like, if I read that about somebody, I would literally forget it instantly. Yeah. So that's kind. See, Joe would be the opposite. Joe would go, you're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't leave the house again. Don't ever leave the house. No, people will be she spitting at you wouldn't. in the street. Oh, she fucking does. Well, do you know what surprises me, though? Because she is one of my most supportive friends that I think I've maybe ever had. I oh, no. She, I, I suppose she... it's her way of supporting me. Yeah. But it's maybe ruthless. she just maybe she just loves me a bit more than you. She adores you. She adores you. Honestly, no. well, she does. You're a very adorable person, and you. She thinks the world of you. I think it's, it's uh, me. She hates. For I, some think, reason. Yeah. <laughs> I think it is important when you've had a little. You know, you've had a little bit of success, and you know, I've been on the in between. as your fucking Danny Dyer. It's good to have someone there to go. Do you say that to yourself sometimes? Well, it's think... good to have someone there to just, like you say, every half hour, just to go. Oh, just. To remind you, you are a bit of a dickhead. You go, oh yeah, of course, yeah, no, yeah. I almost forgot. Yeah. I, yeah. And no, that dishwasher need still needs everything. Yeah. Well, she's known me since before all that bollocks, I suppose. No one knows me as closely and as intimately as as my jo. She's been through the whole fucking process with me. So, so if anyone's going to bring me back down to earth, it's going to be her, and yeah. I have to take it on the chin. Yeah. Or chins, you know, as we <laughs> laughing. When can I talk about trains, Claire? Right, so Danny, let me <laughs> let me um, let you in on sort of the bullshit that we talk on here, right? Go so back. when we first started doing this podcast, we had to fucking leave the house, right? Which yeah, meant I, I hate doing it. Very surprised. I, I know. Really you know us. I know. We, we we don't like it. No. So that meant we had to get on a train and a tube and taxis and we had to fucking travel, mm. right? Now, the one thing that James talks about constantly is people on public transport. It's become a bit of a thing. Mm. Yeah, I love, I'm loving it. People I'm watching, sort of. No. No, knobheads who think they're more important no. than you are. Right. Just people that don't, don't understand. Don't give you the leg room that you deserve. Gotcha. They take up 80% instead of the 50-50. People yeah. that will put three bags on a chair and take up one for themselves and yeah. you've got to stand there going, oh, what am I then? Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Just people that treat the people train who play their phone and loud. public transport as if they're in their living room. Yeah. When they're was the last time you public. got public transport, though? I don't know if this is resonating. Well, no, I jump on a rattler now and again. It, uh, I is, don't know what that is. What does that is, mean? Uh, oh, the Oxo. The Oxo, I'd call it, which is the Oxo cube tube. <laughs> right. The rattler's the sort of overhead because it rattles. It's quite a simple one, but the Oxo is. Um, I do now and again because it does make sense to jump it's on it. It's a lot quicker than it. It is, but yeah. it is full of fucking. Awful people. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and, uh, awful people. So uh, sometimes I'd rather sit in a motor for two hours. That's the thing. For the same fucking journey. Which just... could have took half an hour. So so I do do it now and again just to get into town, but um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't come back late on them because that's when they really come out. That's yeah. when it's scary, isn't it? The late night nuts. Yeah. See, I get very, very worried about James on trains late at night because he is... Jay for the in-betweeners. Yeah, I'd worry about it. He's very, yeah, he's, per he's perfect for him, and he's perfect. But I would be worried about you, though. You're the same. Well, I think the films I've made, I can play up to it. I, I, I am the character I play. But he's not. That's the difference. No, no. He's I not. am sort of, I, I can... But don't he's, you... he's the opposite to Jay, isn't he? Yes. He, he? Whereas they want to come up and they want him to talk about, you know, fingering people and, <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah. like filthy shit that he would yeah. say. What's a character, by and the way? Believe he's me. not that person. I, know, I but can I do, play I, up to it. Oh, he's not I'll that switch person. I switch believe it on. I switch on as well. He's not fucking that person no, no, anymore. That's what I'm saying, but, but because he represents... I can switch it on. You represent a certain... You, you know, don't demographic. Let, like you don't the, want to let anyone down. No, you don't want to so let anyone down. So you do sort of. You, I, do, I do do slip into a slight J gear if people people. Can, can you put it into gear? And, I can do, yeah. Yeah. 
which um, is exhausting. Do you, you do that? Do you have to sort well, out... What am I known for? What am I famous for? Making films about working class people. I say cunt a lot and things like that. You know, I am very working class. I've never been able to shake that off. So I went through a whole period of my life. It changed since EastEnders, where anyone with a big scar down their face or a Burberry cap on would know I was. So my yeah. audience were nutty fuckers. I yeah. got that. Yeah. <laughs> the nuttiest fucker in the boozer that wants to tear up, he's going to come... I know he's going to come up to me. Yeah. I'm going to be me mate. So, I, so right, and they so, love me for it. So actually, I'd attach with that. Right. So it doesn't ever go the other way, where it's never. like, oh, you think you're only hugged. on Twitter. If I read Twitter all day, I'd never leave the gaff because exactly. everyone fucking hates you. But yeah. actually, in general, no one ever ever come up to me and say you're a shit actor or you're this or that. You know, like uh, if, if anything, I've had a touch. Joe, of the course. biggest lunatic in the booze is going to be my mate. Right. Yeah. Okay. You know, everyone's petrified of him. You know, he's got no teeth. You know what I mean? He's <laughs> yeah. Sniffed up to the eyeballs. Yeah. You know that 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 guy's going to be sort of looking after me. See, those are the people that, that happens, we end up talking yeah, to all night. Yeah, that happens to me a lot as well. And, um, Do you remember that time we went for a cheeky little lunchtime? Yeah. It was during the summer. Oh, Christ, yeah. Yeah, it was during the summer. Every time we... Because, like, like we say, we don't really go out that much. And then there was this one day where we were like, it was really hot, it was nice, the kids were at school. We were like, should we go for a little pub lunch? A bit of lunch? Just a little cider in the afternoon or just something. Just ended up with these two guys who had just got out of prison telling us that their life story or the mental stuff they yeah. had done. But they were proper, though. They weren't, like, just in joggers. They, they, they so just... you're sitting down having a nice bit of Very sophisticated. Yeah. yeah. And then they just sit down with you. They were like, oh, they mate, were, they No, were... they were kind of across yeah. for us. And it, it, to be fair, their conversation was much more interesting, so I was sort of listening to them anyway. Right. And then we just sort of joined in, yeah. didn't we? I don't even know how I it think happened. He asked for a picture or something. And well, that's usually how it starts. And, and it's how you react to the picture. Kind of sat down. Yeah. Are you going to be tricky? Which I can assume sometimes you, you could be. Me? I could be wrong. Nah. Yeah, in a sense never, of. Mate. I think you're probably better at saying no than me. Have no, you ever said no to no, someone coming up to no, you? You've never, never done that? No. No. Yeah, I'm shit at that, and all. Sometimes there is a time and a place. Oh, it's I not feel. a big deal, is it, really? It shouldn't be, because if you treat people with respect, they're happy and then they fuck off. Yeah. If you don't. Then they get a bit tricky, and the it's only, all that dialogue of yeah, it. You're better yeah, than yeah. me, and all that shit. The only things I don't like is having my picture taken secretly. Yeah, that is that, me or, or when I'm at a cash point. That's always it. When uh, <laughs> just about to punch you. Uh, <laughs> and when they, I've had that by the way. I've had, really? I've had it cocking my hand as well, having a piss. That's a weird. <laughs> yeah, that's you a weird said one. That. Yeah, the that's when it gets ones. really awkward. That's a strange one. That is. But I, 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 so I don't use your urinals at all now. At all whatsoever. Really? No, I go. I wait for a cubicle because I've. It's happened to me a handful of times now where I'm stood at a urinal and it's like, oh, all right, and I go, yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. Can I get a picture? And I go, yeah, in a second, and then I sort of go, oh, someone's watching me, and I can't piss, and I look like a fucking yeah. weirdo just yeah. stood there, yeah. just some bloke, and basically just some bloke with his knob out yeah, well, in no, public. So it's, it's that's two all good. that turns with the cocks out, isn't it? Because <laughs> yeah. you're both shaking cocks at the yeah. same time and. <laughs> And talking to each other. But I've done it. I've gone. I've, the last time I was like, right, that's the last time I used urinals was when I pretended to piss, right. and I sort of oh, went. No. And I sort of went. Ah, oh, <laughs> that's better. <laughs> and then I, left, still needing a piss. Yeah, because I was like, yeah, of course. Sort of all weird and self-conscious. Yeah. <laughs> it put me off from having a, having yeah. a slash. Right, I knew this would happen, but you two have fucking Sorry. derailed Apologies. this. Apologies. <laughs> No, go on, so we're talking about rattlers. Right, yeah. So we've got a story, right? And this is this is a regular thing now, so this is from a listener. I recently got the train from Manchester to London and as I boarded the train, I noticed a group of about eight men on my carriage. They were all wearing Arsenal football shirts, so I knew... Probably football fans. Probably. So I knew they were going all the way to London too. Each of them carried four or so cans of beer, which they all managed to get through during the two to three hour train journey. Oh, four cans, four cans. Over, over three Lightweight. hours. Jesus. That's fine. We can do that in half what, an hour. An hour? Yeah. Throughout the journey, they were shouting football chants and singing various football songs. As more beers were drunk, they got louder and more obnoxious. Every time they stopped one of their chants, I thought I'd get some peace and quiet, but they were just recharging their energy to start singing again. No amount of huffing or death stares helped my situation. Well... Ah, uh, this... Listen, you've got to... <sighs> this isn't... I think you've got to give a pass to the football I fans. I think you've it's, got Come to, on, yeah. it's Dad's Day. They don't sound that bad at all whatsoever. Just, it's only no, when they it's... sound quite middle class, yeah. actually. It's, that's quite a nice... Little turn out, little can and out. They were chucking a little chill out now and again. They were very Four slowly beers. drinking beer, singing <laughs> yeah. football chants, enjoying themselves. Yeah. I think um, 
I think that's fun. I think that's fine. Yeah, I think so. That's as just, well. that's and just also a, group, a tra- group of lads having a bit of fun. Trains a big when, place. If it, it starts been. kicking off and getting into a bit of violence and stuff like that, that's when you go, right, that's not on. But if it's just people, they're wearing their football shirts, they're on the way to the football, they're enjoying themselves. They're, they seem quite they responsible. Seem they seem like a nice... <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> well, I think... Was it, a, was it a treacle? It's International Treacles I... Day today. Did you know that? International oh, Women's really? Day. I think that's what they call it um, as well. Yeah, I'm sure they'll appreciate that. Which that. is incredible. International Birds Day, yeah, isn't it? it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got to give them all respect or something. I don't know. Um, but, uh, was, uh, so, it's, 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 I, I'm assuming it's a woman. OK, so, oh, so it doesn't say. It is doesn't that, is say. It anonymous? It's anonymous, but I'm assuming it sounds like a woman. I think that's quite tame, and I think that I think she, tame. if yeah. it is a she, should be quite happy that it was I that a few little it, Arsenal fans she had a touch. I assume it's a weekend... Because mm-hmm. you know the football's on and stuff. Yeah. Uh, if it was, listen, if they weren't on the way to the football. Yeah. And it was R five leaving London on a Wednesday. On a, yeah, on the tube. Yeah. Maybe you'd go. Come on, mate, rain it in a bit. Give me a break. But. No, you got to suck with it, or you got to put your hand in your pocket and go first class. <laughs> well, she could have moved as well. Yeah. Exactly. Lot of lot of cartridges, but no. This I, is a rare one for me. It's a rare one for us where we don't. And uh, listen, if they were, if it, she might have made it sound a bit better than what it was, maybe they were really. Maybe irritating. there was, maybe there's more detail. Here. Maybe they were editing, but editing. But if they're just having a couple of beers, chances yeah, Saturday, Saturday you know, afternoon. They're yeah. excitable, you know. To be fair, I feel like that. If that was me, right, and l- even if I let's say I was on my own, and that happened, and they were all singing and stuff, I'd I'd be like, oh, man, I want a beer. Yeah, I like get that. that would just make me want to like join in. I don't know what that says about me. But I see like a <laughs> beer on the television or someone <laughs> drinking a beer. I just go, God, yeah. that looks really nice. That yeah. does. I just have one of them. Yeah. Well, so I you can sing a song. It's the same thing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Is it? Yeah. And he sticks his head in it. And <laughs> <back> in, <laughs> That looks really nice and comfy. Yeah. I think I just want a donut, a powdered mm. donut, but each to their you own. You two knew each other. When did you we meet? We did a pilot together. We did a pilot together, which, which I thought had fucking potential. I thought it was really, really good. You always talk about that. Yeah. Called Filth. It was filth, called Filth. It yeah. wouldn't work now because the fucking thing doesn't exist, but it was based on like a like a zoo or nuts yeah, like magazine. Yeah, a magazine. Yeah. And um, Danny had a great part. He was sort of a military correspondent. He was like this ex-military bloke that would write stories about his time in the army. Tracy Ann Oberman. Tracy Ann Oberman. Um, Danny Morgan. I always remember, this is something for me, you was the one that told me that Michael Jackson died. That's right. Yeah. It was you that gave me the news. Yeah. It, it was quite, sort of quite pleasant about it, actually. We were was, out for dinner. It wasn't, I'm not saying you was chuffed about it, but you, you were sort of... <laughs> You said he it, likes you know, breaking always, the news. I, I, felt, I felt it was a wind-up because it was such such big news, whatever you thought of him. But you know um, what it's like when you've got really big news. He was quite news. jolly about it, I remember. Oh, Michael Jackson's dead. And I was like, what? Sorry? Jay, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you one thing about James. He does genuinely... L- Love to not, give bad news. He likes breaking the news of a celebrity death. Oh, he love oh, it. Oh, does he do, really? Yeah. So he's got... He's got he's he got, loves got, it. Yeah, I do. He's like, have you heard? He's got history of it. Yeah. yeah. He can't wait to come. Did you know before everyone else? Is the other thing? Have you got some sort of contact? I must have. It must have come through. I must have. I just. We've all got blowers. I just have celebrity death alert. (laughs) (laughs) Radar. Celebrity death radar. You told the whole table we were having dinner. (laughs) Yeah. Get away. And love the shock on everyone's face. (laughs) Oh, that's a bit creepy, isn't it? It's weird. Yeah. And you love it. You came down. um, uh, Lewis. uh, You came down the other day. Richard Lewis had died, and I love Richard Lewis. And you came down. You were like, "Have you heard?" Yeah. Yeah. That's a fucker. You should have saw Did he take joy in it again? Did it, he? it wasn't quite joy, but he just... I knew, I'd already seen it. He was like, have you heard? Are you all right? Have you oh, heard? So you trumped him. It's the first and thing I, went, I said yeah. to you in the morning. I went, have you heard? Like, he, ju- he just wants to be it's in weird, there and break it. Because I always remember that. <laughs> I always remember that he was the one that delivered the note. <laughs> but, so you two have known each other for a very, very long time. Yep. Yeah. Um, the four of us, you and Joe and me and James, have been friends now for what... 13... A 15 stretch, should we say? Yeah, maybe. But should we round it up to years? a 15? Yeah, it's coming up to... 13, you reckon? I think 13, yeah. I'm trying to think when we first went out as a four ball. I don't know. Where that well, was. but then, so after our wedding, I got pregnant. Um, Again? I found out a couple yeah. of months... So six months uh, no, after, a, was No, it? a couple of weeks after our wedding. Fuck it, yeah. which is fine, actually, because... But then Jo found out she was pregnant as well. So yes, we were pregnant was, at the same time. She was taking beans as well. Which uh, I think was what 
like, what? I don't even know what that means. I don't know what you're saying half the time. Oh, you well, must beans. be able to work oh, it you know out. What magic beans are. She I mean, was taking beans. Yeah, so beans. What do you think beans are? You know the magic beans that we put inside you so that the baby can grow. Oh right, okay. You know, basically, it's another word for spunk. Right, okay. <laughs> a bit more new age. Wow. <laughs> but that really, that was when we sort of started doing stuff as yeah. couples and stuff, and then we had. Uh, how far apart are Artie and Jude? It's like, is it three months? Is it as long as that? Oh yeah, Artie's October, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so and two months. And then. When those two were little, we just, we were just together all the time, weren't we? And I remember, yeah. do you remember our youngest Jude? When he got to about two, three, his favourite thing in the world today was to just fight. Yeah, quite you? an aggressive child. <laughs> yeah, wasn't he? I remember, remember? Violent, wasn't it? I remember him smashing me in the mouth a few <laughs> times. Yeah, there was, there was a point where I was like, I don't know what to do with him, yeah. like, because yeah. he's just so angry with me all the time. Yeah, but there was something about when Danny came run. Yeah, but I've got this great video with you sitting on a chair in our living room with Jude, and you're trying to talk, you're trying to tell us something, you're trying to have a conversation with us, and, and, Jude, and Jude's just like, Pff, yeah. Pff, yeah, like he's pretending, but you're you're just like grabbing his hands. But that was his thing. You'd go him. to him, you'd go to him, right? Put that down, and then you'd get a smack. Or you'd go, oh, well done, that's really good. And then you'd get a smack. Yeah, yeah. And I was just going, I don't know, what does this keep yeah. on? Boisterous boys, you know, it's, it's an energy. It's now chemistry, he's the most, you know, it's, he wouldn't... That's what I'm saying, look at him now. He's so yeah. angelic Sweet now. kid. But we used to call him Savage Jude. We, I used to call him Pablo. After when he was, Yeah, because yeah, when he was a couldn't toddler... Couldn't negotiate with him. You couldn't negotiate with him. Can't really. we've had to, I need uh, to get my mate in. We've had to bring in the big guns. Come on. Yeah. Intr go on, introduce your mate. I don't even... You, you, you two can start now. Me and Danny right. just sit here. So, sit yeah. we've... Shh. We have... Uh, we've had to bring Joe in, who is Danny's, how should I say, long-suffering wife... Long-suffering ...of wife. how many years? Oh, we've only been... Well, no, you talk. Actually. Well, you have... Yeah, you've, only, you've not been married that long. How, how, how long ago was your wedding? No, they've been married um, a while no. now. Six, eight years this eight year. Eight years ago. The only reason we got married is because you threw the bouquet at me. That's right. You caught the bouquet yeah. at my wedding. We set Jeez. that up. You're welcome. Oh, you yeah, Joe. Claire set that up. Well, don't say that because you had relatives. No, 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 but... I gave her a little wink. She said, run to the front and get that bouquet. <laughs> and you got the bouquet. And I did. And then you proposed to me because we're new age people. Modern. And she proposed to me on a muffin. On a muffin, yeah. What, what do you mean on a muffin? So it was Valentine's Day and I wasn't even with you. My mum and dad was... <laughs> no, 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 you well, was at you home. You were with me at the time. You were no. there that day. <laughs> My mum and dad was having a lunch <laughs> in Selfridges and I went to Millie's Cookies, yep. bought the last muffin that right. said, will you marry me? But right. I didn't mean it. It was but just the last one there. It was there. just the last one there. Right. So I thought, oh, I'm going to have that tonight. Forgot to eat it, left it downstairs. Yeah. Forgot to eat the muffin, went to bed. He's come up three in the morning. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. And I thought, oh, what? Well, no, actually what happened was I'd had a doobie and this is bad. <laughs> I was very hungry. <laughs> so I, I acknowledged it, munched it and then came and said yes. Yeah. And I just got out of bed and thought... Are you telling me that you wasn't going to propose? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, wasn't I wasn't going to propose. And then on That's the amazing. tube... No, I've never heard that before. No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> it incredible. was a complete no. accident. It was the last muffin. So we got muffin. married by accident. <laughs> yeah. And so you sat there and went... I knew I this. was so embarrassed. <laughs> you sat there and went... <laughs> yeah, that's I why I got yeah. you the muffin. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I bought the last muffin. Why would you get one that says, will you because marry me? Because it was the last one left oh. on the shelf. Yeah. What romantic story. So... <laughs> On the Tuesday, that was the Saturday, on the Sunday, we'd had a big argument. You went, I don't want to marry you. And I thought, yes. <laughs> and then on the, well, and then then on the Tuesday, yeah. you said, oh, I've spoken to Denny. We're getting married and we're going to do a hello deal. OK, magazine, uh, don't get confused. No, it was hello. Yeah. Was it hello? It was hello. It was OK. No, it was hello. Oh, shit. So... <laughs> <Same balance. laughs> Um, 
Yeah, so, that's right. Well, yes. Yeah. Yes. So it was for the money. Well, no, no, because she was talking about hundred pound a head for people yeah. to eat. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah that's that's standard. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, no, it doesn't yeah. have to be, darling. It can be twenty five pounds. No, I wanted. It doesn't have to be a hundred pound a head for people to eat. That's not the story I was told. School dinners, fucking half a quid each. You know, you can feed loads of kids on that. One of her story, I was told. One of her favourite moments. To be fair, in your defence, with with I don't, I'm not interested in arranging weddings and stuff like that. Or what game is it? What flowers? What do you think? I would say most men, it's not their game. I had a couple of questions thrown at me from Claire, and I was like, you know what, right? You, I'll pay for it. You just. I don't want to have anything to do with it. I'll turn yeah. up. Just be a guest. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. One of her, one of her favourite stories uh, from Joe and Danny's wedding. I wasn't even there, but you always tell me about it. At the end of the night, you guys had fireworks. Oh, it was brilliant. Uh, yeah. Uh, on the thing, and you said Danny and you right, were it just standing together. It was great. It was great. It was me, you, and Serge. Oh. From Kasabian. From Kasabian. We were sat from Kasabian. We were sat there, and we were, there was this huge fireworks display. Which started with the uh, with fire, with, no, with, yeah. with, and then it went into the duff duffs, didn't it? Right. Boom. Duff. But duff, it was duff, like duff, I'm duff, on duff. fire, and then yeah. I turned to Serge and I went, I "Fucking love the stone roses." <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whether he appreciated that joke or not, but then <laughs> no, he was off his head. He was meant to actually do a song for us, but he couldn't. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, he was. He, he was didn't so want to. He was embarrassed, didn't yeah. he? Yeah, he, did. he was, was like, shy. Oh, I don't want to sing. I felt sorry for him. He was such a I nice bloke. I had to keep James back from singing. This is a man, that, is a man that's done Glastonbury. Like, I know, I know, I know the words to Kasavian songs. I was like, going, "Fucking, I'll do it. I'll be Tom for the night. Don't you worry." And um, but we were watching these fireworks, and it was so beautiful. And everyone was out on this sort of veranda. The yeah. whole party was yeah. out, looking up in the sky, and it was wonderful. And you just kept going. That's fifty quid. That's fifty quid. <laughs> That's 20 quid, that one. That one's probably about 150. <laughs> well, listen, it backfired. Because, uh, they offered us 125 grand for this wedding. Right. And I think it probably cost 140. So I was actually down. You were down. <laughs> you are down. Uh, but actually, this but woman what threw a says... party, mate, and it was a celebration of our love at that time. It was a brilliant party. Yeah, it was a good party. That no one went on. It was a fucking fairground. I didn't see that. No, no one fucking went near it. That's no, what it was raining. It was uh, a fairground. So it was out to be in a separate field. I was like, well, that, yeah. what's the fucking point of that? I didn't see that. <laughs> you had to walk quarter of an hour to get to it, so that was a load of bollocks. I want to go back. Had a waltz and everything. I want to go back to Chute and Glee. You see, we've you been go. a lot since you were yeah. away. That was the first time we go ever back went. There. It's lovely. Down in the treehouse. Yeah. Lovely place. Yeah. That was beautiful. So you were at our wedding, and we were at your wedding, mm -hmm. and we had babies together. Yeah. And we've had many a night together. Yeah. And I think we know each other pretty well. Yeah. But we're going to get into what we like to call non-negotiables. You will not negotiate on them. These are things that you can't stand. Or Let's... maybe things that you could put up with. No, that's not fucking fun. Maybe things that you don't mind. So... We know you and... Right, it says, where did you and Joe first meet? We know that. You went to school together. Yeah. Right. How important in a relationship, in both your opinions, is just general compatibility? Well, for me personally, we've got nothing in common. See, so I w I'm glad you said that first because I was going to say you two are very different yeah, but that's people. Why it works. So I different. think so. Because no. me and James are the same. We are total opposites. I don't think I'm like anyone else on this planet anyway. <laughs> No, you're a I'm little a weirdo, and you? weird you're fellow. not <laughs> weird. You are a little weirdo. He is an odd cat. Yeah, he? Is, but isn't he? we're all odd. This is the thing. This is what I love. You know, humanity, human beings. We're all fucking weirdos, right? Some <laughs> I don't think I'm that others. weird. What? I'm not you're that crank, weird. Darling. I am not. But I think that that's what. Why do we fall? I think my theory of love is you fall in love with people's flaws and their weirdness and their quirkiness. I it's, agree. Because we have masks. You know, like obviously when you was wooing her in Emerson Park. Yeah. That would have been a very different James than now. Right? Oh, absolutely. You know, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. 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 You, know, you know, you're walking around, I don't know, with a smoking jacket on and all this sort of stuff. No, that's what I am now. That's what you are now. <laughs> yeah. That's, <laughs> that's, that's the problem. problem. That's so, the so problem. So you to get the smoking jacket yeah. out. Yeah. So what yeah, I'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, is that, you know, once that goes, do you still, f because many relationships don't survive, after the mask goes, you go, oh, is that what you like? Mm. Yeah. Yes. Not for me. The honeymoon later. period right, which can be very deceiving. Well, of course it can, and it should be. It's meant to be. But actually, when you fall in love with someone deeply, 
Yeah. It's what when you well, see that was the it. fucking real. But how can you fall in love with somebody no, when I, you don't really know if could, they're like cause because the real put, the true stuff the well, you fall, Yeah. You, you fall, fall in right. love with them so much so you're you like, trick right, them. I suppose I better yeah. go. No, no, you, you trick, trick them for no. the first little no. while. And yeah. then... Trick, trick in, trick, We're all tricking, though. Yeah, trick, trick in the sense well. of like... Um, you got your best underwear on and all She's that. She's done fucking... nothing Oh, that's wrong. true. Trick in that's the sense true, of yeah. like magic. Yeah, yeah, a bit like Paul Daniels. Yeah. <laughs> Is he dead now? Yeah, yeah it's yeah. very dead. He's brown, unfortunately. All right, OK. So is there anything that you two have a major difference on? Is there anything that you never, ever agree on? Like, something in particular? I'm just trying to think, what do we agree on? We don't agree on nothing. <laughs> that's 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 that would be amazing. Do you know what? We actually might have to round it down a bit. Go we on. don't agree on nothing. We don't really, no. We, no. no. It's difficult, isn't it? Uh, the we kids, it's nothing, we don't no, agree we don't on. The kids. Um, you know, we had very different upbringings, even though we were sort of from the same council estate. You, you know, she was posher than me. She had a sky dish. Wow. Oh, the sky. You had sky Wow. We don't agree on the dog. We don't agree you on the house. The, the no, dogs, are, I know the dog's a big thing. We don't. I know the dog's yeah. a big thing. No, we just don't agree on that. Yeah, no, we've had, no, don't, no, we have had a, it's been a, it's been a tough year. Let's talk about Christmas because... Yeah, um, oh, okay. well, I wanna, I, okay, yeah I why not? What you've been because... <laughs> Yeah, go on. What's happened? What's your I am so ungrateful, but I was fuming. Well, no. OK, what? right. What did you I'm get... interested in this as well. Because oh, yeah. when they, when they no, come back, Claire does now. start some things. Some com sometimes she'll start a thing going, you won't believe what Danny's done. Da, da, da. And I go, I don't... And I do. And, and to be fair, I, I, I go... I don't think you'd back me, James, To sometimes. be fair, I go, no, because... No, he doesn't back me. <laughs> No, because if because it, no, I don't want you to have had indoors. So it's probably it. going to be something where I go, well, what do you want me to say about that, right? So I just go, don't tell. I don't want to know. Don't tell me. I'm right. not interested. Well, no, it's not that Joe's I'm not ungrateful. I just don't care. Yeah, I'm not no, interested. No, like it's not that Joe's ungrateful at all. But what <laughs> did you get her for Christmas? Right. Well, we hadn't been speaking. Oh, she fucking told uh, yes, me. Yes, yeah, she told me about this. Actually. Yes. So and you, what did you? You're in a weird realm of going. Right, but what did you say to her? Huh? What did you say to her because you hadn't been speaking? Well, nothing because we wasn't speaking. No, no, okay, no, 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 don't even think about it. So you said, fine. Fine. Right, OK. Fuck fine, yeah. that's it. Yeah, fine. yeah, but how many right. people say that to each other? Mm. I don't want nothing from others, I don't want nothing. And then no, you don't yeah, have yeah, anything, yeah. and then you're fucked. Oh, right? yeah. so, been there. We are good together now. OK, so anyway, yeah, go on, so carry so, on. So, so, so I said this. Right, so you did yeah. say that. Every day. Well, when, right, well, 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 I wasn't saying it that most much, because you wasn't speaking at all. Most right. days, you'd look so at me. two and questions. When did you get her Christmas present? Uh, I took uh, my daughter out. <laughs> yeah, when? My, my sonny. When? Uh, probably Christmas Eve. Right. right? So and you I last. Went to sunny. So you last minute panicked. Yeah. Okay. Right. And no, I do it every year, to be fair. Okay. But it doesn't matter. The what did you is, get, Joe? I thought I can't have her. Not for me, this present, by the way. Yeah, Nothing's yeah, doing yeah, me. Yeah. yeah. I thought the children should be able to present her with something. Absolutely. On Christmas Day. Yeah. So I thought she'd do the same. Yeah. Do you know the, what I mean? The, well, like, listen, don't you try and fucking turn it around <laughs> no, yet. No, 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 I'm just saying. Okay. You'd like your son to come up to you in the morning mm. and bring you something. But you yeah. laid but you laid the rules down, well, right? No, we both laid the rules, but no, you both laid the rules. Other. Because you were just saying we're blanking out. each other, there's hatred in the house. Because <laughs> you were just saying you can out. smell it when you walk in, you know. It's a, I do you, love it when I come round to your house and I can tell you hate each other. Mm. And I'm like, yes. Well I think some well, me, yeah, and Joe, it's, it's, me and Joe are gonna sit perfect. in this room, Danny and James are gonna sit in that room, we're gonna have a yeah. lovely night. Yeah, perfect. It's gonna be great. But um yeah, so I went out, I got a lovely little uh, kettle. Not a kettle, actually, a kettle, basically a watch. I've got a yeah, no, Joe. Kettle and hob, hob, fob, fob watch. That's why we call it a kettle. James knows this because he's from Dagenham. <laughs> right, what kind of watch, though? A Gucci watch. What right? was on the watch? Which is worth a bag of sand. Yes. Nice. Right? So what? this ain't no fucking shitty little Timex piece. No, 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 no. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But what it's was on the watch, cat. though? There's a cat on it. Now, Joe, as we, as we all know, is a huge animal lover... Animals, yeah. yeah. She hates humans. No, though. you don't. No, I don't like humans. You don't have a cat. 
She's never expressed. Yeah, you can't tell it's a cat. It's a small. <laughs> she's never thing. expressed anything cat towards like. cats. Yeah. No, but no. you turned up with a cat watch. Again, you're forgetting it's Gucci and it's That's worth fine. a thousand yeah. pounds. Right, this but what the fuck are you supposed to okay, do with okay, that? So if you don't spin like it on cats. Nut. What did I receive? Well, she was brave enough to stick to the word. Oh, so you're going to back on this? What I didn't get it? one fucking thing, not one card. Well, you said we're not getting Christmas. anything. You said, yeah. Now I love Christmas. And I've got to say, all of a sudden, I think I'm sort of going, oh, maybe I'm going to start hating Christmas because, you know, like getting Grinch like around. I hate people that say they hate Christmas. I go, I well, like why Christmas. do you hate Christmas? You're one of them, aren't you? No, I love Christmas. Oh, you like Christmas? Yeah, I like. You know, the, people the go, thing I hate you... Christmas. I go, thing... fuck off. What's the no, matter? No, no, no. I like. You... you know, I was fucking moaning about Christmas. No, no, no. I'm not moaning about Christmas. Last Christmas, we had the best fucking Christmas we've had oh, in he's years. Oh, moaning about people coming to Christmas. During COVID, we had an amazing Christmas. <laughs> and we all sat there and went, this is the best Christmas we've ever had. Because it was just us. <laughs> yeah. Okay, And fine. it was fucking great. Yeah, okay. so what did you do? So this Christmas, you have this loads Christmas, of people it, over. This Christmas, it was just us. And it was great. And it was brilliant. And we had a wonderful time. And I love giving gifts. I absolutely love giving gifts. I'm genuinely not fussed about getting a, them. getting a gift. Because, I, you know, I'm an adult man. I can pretty much... If I want something, I'll buy it anyway. So, that's what I do. So I love, love, love giving Unless gifts. Unless it's a cat watch, you'd never fucking buy yeah, that. But well, I've never been, been given. You, you I, would buy, I, would I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. I've never been given a cat watch. No, but listen, right. it's not, our it's relationship not a cat is obviously watch. not at that level. It is yet. a cat theme. It's not a cat theme watch. Cat. Anyway, okay. So you think it's fine? That actually, it. I thought. Do you know what? You it's, I'm being unreasonable. You panic bought. It doesn't matter. At least I fucking panic bought. She didn't do fuck all. So, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, the idea, I, I thought, do you know what? It is Christmas Day, even though I hate her fucking guts <laughs> and she fucking hates me. I'm going to make sure that my children can present her with something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. but you know what it was? Not. Something that she doesn't like. What did I get? Nothing. I sat there thinking something's going to come out. And then never not bought me anything. <laughs> you know, just waiting. Oh, oh. <laughs> She's leaving it late. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and, then, and, then, and then the day passes, nothing. <laughs> Maybe Boxing Day, might <laughs> a, not a fucking thing. But and she knows. Why, see, no, 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 Joe no. will. If she says something, that's what she fucking means. Yeah, but that's a bit strong, Claire. I know you want to back your power. No, no, no. But I've been building the house sonic, man, all it. year. Built the house all year. You've, You've been project be, managing been because it. I physically wasn't in the stand or in the ground. He didn't or appreciate it. He yeah. was like, what? Well, I do appreciate it. I'm looking at my bank account, sweetheart. <laughs> So, they're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> We're not fucked. So, <laughs> you know when you think, this is your project, this is yours, go on, go and do That's it. That's it, they'll leave That's it to it. you. And yeah. I was, 100%. by Christmas, I was so tired. Yeah. We was I all was, tired. We was all, all tired. No, that's fine. I hear you. No, you've, you've had a kitchen put you. in. I hear you. Yeah. yeah. Try to do I, fucking three bedrooms in another yeah. kitchen and a yeah. garden. Use of while a, living in it. Use, yeah. of, use of had a proper... 15 hairy ass builders in your house all fucking yeah. day for a year driving you fucking insane. <laughs> You've had a proper renovation recently. Yeah. Is that put strain... Is yeah. that put strain on the relationship? I'm looking forward. I can't wait. I'm looking I've forward to the it. tour. I've seen it. I've not seen it. No, have I've you seen, seen it proper? Yeah. When was you You went it? there. I, I popped in one day. Um... Slag us off, no doubt. Slag us off, yeah. Whereas we were fucking walking around, we were like, no, this Joe was like, look at this room, Danny's a prick. And um, <laughs> we're in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but you know what? He, I did arrange the biggest bed because you like everything so big. And he literally just. No, it's, look, it's fucking amazing, but it's hard. It was to be hard. living in a gaff. Where you got it's a it building site. Hard. It's a building it's site. Hard. It was hard. And you got to do school runs and the kids are fucking yeah. moaning about shit and yeah. you know, like you got a microwave in your living room. It's and all stuff that game. And, that yeah, that, that does put pressure. Anywhere, <laughs> fucking shit hanging out the walls. That put pre that's that does put you know? pressure on anything. So so yeah. But you're through it. Yeah. You're yeah. 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 on the other yeah. end. Not quite. No, come yeah, on. Yeah, we are through it. You'll see tomorrow the garden's fucked. The garden's fucked. Yeah. It is stressful. It Do is... you still have the trampoline? Because Jude was talking about the trampoline oh, this yeah. morning. No, baby, oh, there's no garden. Shit. You can't go out there. Can't go out there. It's building site. Right. I've got a pool table. Oh, oh right. they'll love that. Yeah, they'll love that. Fun. Dartboard. Right. While you're passing out in the bathroom. No, you've had too I'm going to be fine tomorrow. I was fine last we time. Was... You was. You've been you spoiled. Did... You wasn't well was... last time. I had COVID. I did. Yeah. But anyway, um, right. So anything you majorly differ on? Everything. Everything. Um, is this stuff, especially like looking back when you first got together, like was there things like, so like for me and James, music was a big thing. 
uh, eating the same foods and stuff. So James like built me up, you know, we, well, anytime we get together, it's always a curry. Yeah. When I first met James, I was a korma girl. <sighs> I know. That's a I could uh, that could have made her made that's her broken. A, a flag so no, I worked on it. I but is it any? You're you Madras now. I'm Madras. Oh, she yeah. can have a vindaloo. Oh, she can have anything. Yeah. She's not much in a vindaloo yeah. Madras. It's a myth on that. I think. Same but bollocks. Is there anything like for you two where it was like? Uh, what? But I suppose you were so young though. Well, no, weren't she you? was very exotic because she's half Spanish. She is. So when I was your dad's your Spanish. Girl, I was presented with olives. At a young age, yeah. and I was like, "What the fuck are these?" <laughs> and then a fucking aubergine. Wow! Which I was like, you know, very nervous around it. I thought, "What the fuck <laughs> is going on here?" Remember, we're in custom house. Skate, yeah. Skate as well. Fish. Which I remember you right. presenting it to me and going, "Oh, this fish has a period," and I went, "Yeah." Because it's the only fish that menstruates. It menstruates. Yeah. yeah. Men wow. Menstruates. God, I bet that made you really well, want to dig right in. in. Don't know, <laughs> put me nut straight in it. Yeah. It's <laughs> perfect, no but... way. Is that Carol? Is she a cook? Is your mum a cook? No, no my Tolo, dad. The Spanish man right. who, who's, who was fucking... And, and also a Spanish salad. Which yeah. Is, which is dressed with vinegar and olive oil and salt. So there's no salad. Oh, that was lovely. So she right. got you on board quite quickly with I was very, you. I, I was gone. I was, I was fucking banging love from that you point. You were there. Oh well, yeah, the, I was all put up with super noodles and fucking hot dogs, weren't I? Yeah. So, oh God, skin that sounds like my kids don't say that. That's all right, nothing wrong with it. Oh, Look at Jesus. me, look, fucking point. The into problem it. is, is we have <laughs> we've uh, we've offered our kids different stuff. We have, yeah. But they, they do, don't want really to know these kids. They've got too much options now. They do. Not like well, we were fucking kids. It's the same yeah. as watching telly. There's too many channels. Too many channels, baby. I know, too many explain, channels. Explaining to our kids. Like on a Saturday One, two, night, three, four. that we all sat down and watched the same thing. You know, yeah. And I was like. And also, once the price my, is right, and once my dad, date. I was like, Blind by the way, date. once my dad got home from work, that was it. The TV was done for me. Yeah, yeah. Like I just had to go and do yeah. something, or because my dad sat down, and that was it. Because that was the TV. Exactly. But you would all sit around the telly. They don't do it now. They don't watch telly now. And also, he had to watch whatever was on. Mm. He couldn't just pick. I quite like the idea of that. Like you just you. you like whatever's on, you watch. Yeah. The do you TV know what guide. I like? I bet, I, bet you'd, I bet you'd just settle on something a lot you know, easier, well, wouldn't you? Well, that's it. But do you know what else I like? So sometimes on Amazon Prime, which we've got, yeah. you can watch films and stuff, but you can get them for free if you watch it with adverts. And I quite like the adverts. So when the oh, advert yeah, so comes the on, thing, yeah, 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 and it's like, all right, let's go and get a drink or we'll make a cup of tea or does MD1 in it? And quick, you've got two minutes to get something. But yeah. do you remember... Pop that was how on. it used to be. But that's why... You've got um, to get back. That's why... Uh, this is boring. This is not going to go into the podcast. But that is why um, traditionally adverts were always a couple of decibels louder than the TV show that was going on. People because people would talking. go to the kitchen and pop the kettle on. Yeah. So they wanted yeah. to make sure yeah. that you could... in the podcast because that's, that's incredible go. information. I like an me. advert. I fucking hate an advert, to be honest. I love adverts. I don't, adverts. Mind an advert. I don't want adverts around me. I don't like your adverts on YouTube. We turned them off. Oh. That means they're earning. So. No, no, I'm just saying there was too many adverts. Yeah, we, we heard that. No, we're just trying to keep people happy. We heard that. We turned them off. <laughs> now we're going to get into it, right? I want one thing. I know oh. this is going to be hard for you. Just one. Is there one thing about Danny that consistently gets on your nerves? Is there one thing that he always does or never does? I've got some examples here to this sort of thing. What examples? What do you mean? What so, you? Uh, you know, things like not brushing your teeth. No. No. Oh, brush me fucking teeth. Uh, Snoring. 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 No, that, that's a quick fire one. Yeah, no, I do chuck Snoring. out a few heads, but, but again... Yeah, OK. Well, he's, 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 I know he's for a fact so he shits in the downstairs toilet when you've yeah, asked him to go like upstairs. That yeah, but where are you? This is, no, I don't like that. Where else am I supposed to have a shake? I think I need a shake. I'm not supposed to have a shake. By the way, that no, life. I don't I like that. Shank, mate. <laughs> I don't like no, that. Okay, so we've got one each, have we? Yes. Right, so you're so, next. What it? So what's it going to be? Is it snoring? Shitting For, in the toilet. Yeah, it's the downstairs toilet. That's where my people come in. What do you mean upstairs? Yeah. Upstairs. Well, where? sometimes, you know, if I'm downstairs, no, that really and I need a shot. Me. But that's like the guest but, yeah. toilet. But there's no guests at this point. But yeah, I but no I don't guests. care. I don't I'm care. in my house. 
Some I need a shot. You don't know who's going to come at the, the door. A delivery driver might yeah. knock at the door and go, well, well, oh, by the way, I'm ever so sorry. Oh, no, Can I use not your. No, but well, I'm just say, saying no, it happens. Say, Excuse me, mate. <laughs> no. Just me fucking parcel. It and happens. Get off me fucking drive. <laughs> no, you're not having a shit in here. It here. happens. <laughs> or, someone, or someone just. Someone does a pop in. Yeah, well, someone does a pop in. Again, I find it very odd. Like, who? The neighbours? Can I have a shit in your. No, but you can't have a shit That's the idea. That's the whole point of the pop in. Are you agreeing, by the way, that I can't have a shit in the Our eldest, Harrison, he always takes a shit in the downstairs. Oh, so you're against I keep going to him. Why do you keep doing that? Fucking, you might turn up. Well, I, I love to see TV shit. royalty, I'm not, I'm Danny Dyer turns that. up at my house yeah. just for a pop in, and you go, oh, I can't, I can't use yeah, the loop quickly. Because I don't mind the smell of shit. And I, 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 so, <laughs> but I, if I you walked it. into our downstairs toilet, and if you popped shy, in, I wouldn't say a fucking word. I, and I, there was skid marks yeah. up there, uh, and you would go, I wouldn't fucking judge hell, you. But please clean the toilet. No, would I? Fuck you. Again, I'm the, I'm the wrong example. Well, I would judge. You know, you also, judge. Oh, you judge us. I would, no, also, I would ta judge. Taking a shit for me is an occasion. I upstairs. love it. I can't believe my husband and I have a really shit. Like, I absolutely downstairs. love it. So yeah. I don't want to do the downstairs one. I go upstairs. I actually go to the guest bedroom. You do. Um, because I can Which open... Which constantly smells of shit these days. You'd love it up there. It, uh, I've stunk it out. I've actually, like, proper permanently... I was going to say, but you're shitting in the guest... Well, so this is the guest bedroom. Yeah, yeah. the guest so, bedroom. So, so yeah. someone pops around and goes, oh, God, I've been thrown out of my house. I know, yeah. And you go, oh, yeah, no, that's a good point. Stuff up in the guest bedroom. That's a it's a good point. It's a good point. So because, you I, because I have sort of permanently, I don't know if it's woven know, its it's way into the, set the, into the curtains or something. If there's shit downstairs, you've set the tone. They know they've come to your house. It might be a bit shitty. Well, well that's true. But the if take problem, it, I'll like leave it. Go fuck off. Well, the, the, well. problem is, the problem is, is that I take a shit in the guest bedroom. There's a, there's a toilet in the guest bedroom, but I leave the door open right, so it because I can angle the, the television. <laughs> yeah, oh, And I can sit nice. on the loo. I can okay. sit there for about 25 minutes, oh, half an hour, oh. just flicking through YouTube this or something like that. Bit, by the way. <laughs> like, I'd love to have a But then I do, I do absolutely... Stink out the whole. Yeah, and guest sometimes bedroom, you leave the guest bedroom. And then door I walk open. out. No, sometimes you leave the guest the, the oh, sorry, front both door doors of the open bedroom. Door. Sometimes and I'll you walk, might have a shit down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I'll walk through the hall and I'm like, it stinks. Then I walk past him and he's just there watching the fucking <laughs> telly, having a shite. This is amazing. Sometimes to me. I'm in a rush. And I forget to... No, sometimes I put the door to in the guest room, but the fucking door on the hinges uh, isn't right, working properly, so it just problem. creeps oh, but open. Let's have it right here, because, you know, we're all human beings. Has, has Claire got a rotten ass then? Because, you know, just men have got, you know, shit and it smells. I mean, because women have rotten asses as Look well. Look at I, me. I don't know. You know me. Well, I don't... I may I don't, have I, thrown I, up in your hallway. You did, actually, yeah, yeah. you did. But I've never, I've never stunk and at that your toilet. up a bit, actually, <laughs> that was... You know... But I've never, sh I've never shit your arsenal, toilet. You? <laughs> right. Contained. Do you know what, Claire? I'm, I feel like um, on, I've what? thrown you under the bus with this, um, you know, you with the time when you threw up when we were at Yeah, Overture you have, Day. yeah. So I'm going to help you out. I'm going to take some heat off you. Go on. Here's something I need to mention to you. Um, I did drive into your intercom <laughs> once when I was leaving yeah, your house. I knew it was fucking monkey. <laughs> <laughs> is it broken? The little thing that you punch yeah, the thing Yeah, yeah, I did drive into that is once. Is it? How? Is it uh, broken? No, no well, just it's an reversed. old one. That was the older one. That's why just we... Just reversed into it a little bit. Oh, the, our car was fucked. Get, yeah, I had to get me... Um, the car was fucked. Yeah, yeah it was he all smashed into it. Then, no, 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 no. Car. He scraped all down the back of yeah. the car. And he's only just declared it. Look at Danny, he's oh. fuming. Right, Joe's one is shitting in the downstairs toilet. Danny, if there's one thing that you could mention that constantly gets on your nerves, that she does <sighs> or doesn't do? Okay, it will be, um, she, uh, and you'll see this tomorrow, we've got uh, a, a massive island in oh, our right. kitchen. Yes. Nice. Oh, that's great. Yeah, right. it's lovely. It's amazing. But she likes to use it as a coat hanger, the stalls. Yeah. So when she comes in, she hangs coats on the stalls of the island, right. which for me, I find... Ruins the... Well, it's like, what the fuck? It ruins the aesthetic. It's yeah. almost like a dumping ground. Right. Now, I know she's in a rush, she's got shit to do. Mm -hmm. But, you know, that island is such a piece. Yeah, but they don't stay there, the coats. I'm allowed to speak now. You've been slagging off my arsehole. The coats right. don't stay there, though. I'll yeah, go well, in, no, I'll quickly... No, I move them onto the banister. No, you don't. Of, without you seeing, just because I don't want to row over it. But I go, why has she done that again? <laughs> and also, she's wore three coats today. <laughs> so she's gone out in that coat, came back. Oh, left so they're that all there. her coats. All different coats, all different ranges. Right. There's a cardigan on there. There's oh, fucking hell. 
So she comes in. I know she's got shit on her plate. But to dump it on the... Don't do it. Leave the island to be the hub of the house. Yeah. Okay. All right. Which I think is quite a nice, gentle yeah, one, beautiful. really. Just stop doing it. To be fair, I'm, I'm agreeing with you on that one. Are you going to agree with me? I'm agreeing with no, you. it's all fair enough, isn't it? You see what happens here? Yeah? one, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, hang on a minute. <laughs> that one need you another chance. Right, marital mayhem. Right, here we go. Okay, this is from a listener. It's not from you, is it, Joe? I know you listen. She I listen, listen every night. I know She's you a do, big mate. Time I know. Oh, I listen every night. I know you do. Right, here we go. No, I do. No, she does. Okay, I need advice on something that might need to be tackled sensitively. Oh, fuck, we've got the wrong couple in. My boyfriend, who I've been with for a couple of years, is quite an introverted person. However, one place he really seems to be shy is in the bedroom. Good for him. He likes to talk dirty and comes out with all of these pretty out there statements and nicknames when we're having sex. See, I don't have the... I thought you said he was introverted. Well, he's introverted apart, except apart from, the bedroom. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, go on. At first, I was kind of into it, but now I find it cringy and awkward, especially when he asks me to talk dirty back to him. I don't understand where the dirty talk comes from. The things he says are so out of character for him. I'm nervous to tell him I'm not so into it as the bedroom seems to be the only place that he shows his confident side. How do I approach the situation? Hmm. Um, I'm not into the dirty talk. I, um, not that you ever do it, to be that's fair. That's the thing. I might be into it if I feel like I could pull it off. Uh, what am I going to say to you? Yeah, baby. <laughs> I'm not going to start asking questions Cop like... That, you know, I'm not going to yeah. ask questions yeah. like, do you like that? Yeah. Because I'm only I'm asking for trouble. That yeah. opens a can yeah. of worms. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Absolutely. Then you're going to get yeah. notes. I, I just say things like, you know, like, oh, got to take a break for a second. Yeah. Uh, that's my kind of dirty <laughs> talk. Yeah. Is that so? Are you, are, you, are, you, are, you, are you nearly there? Yeah. Have we got any... <laughs> Claire, have you got any water? Are you nearly there? Oh, my, uh, my calf's cramping. <laughs> yeah. That kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, the cramp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what about, I don't know. Yes. How do you so feel? I to you, well, I mean... in a Manchester accent. Yeah, you know, I have done, no, I have done it. You like in the Manchester shit, accent? In a shit Manchester accent, yeah. Right. So, but, but then, and it's all great until after you've shot your bolt. The pair of us, sorry, but you will ask these questions. <laughs> um, and, then, and then I feel like, oh, fucking hell, so what? Uh, you know, you get a bit insecure about it. What? One about the accent, because it was shit. And secondly, going, oh, maybe she does want to be with a, a, a kid from Manchester. A Mancunian. A Mancunian, yeah. you know. Well, yeah, um, it's the Liam Gallagher. Fuck, she hasn't asked me to do Welsh, because then we're getting into some real realms. So how do, you, how do you... How <laughs> <laughs> because I, I couldn't, couldn't. Uh, yeah, you have done that a few times what? actually. Speak to me in Manchester accent. Mm. Yeah, because when you're going, oh. <laughs> that's at the end. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> right. So, so you. Right. But what do? Oh, what, how do you, you feel right. a bit? Yeah, but how do you feel a bit the dirty talk? No, I don't like all no. that. No, no. How no, do you I, feel, Dan? Well, no, I, I, you do like all that. I don't. <laughs> you know, some of the shit that comes out of your mouth sometimes, <laughs> I'm like, fucking hell. You know, so I'm a little bit like on the back foot. I don't quite know. Like what? Yeah, what? yeah like what? I want to know. I want to know what I say. Yeah, we want to know. I mean, not all the time, obviously. Listen, we've been together a long time. We've been sex since we were... And we can't get Nick for this because we're both the same age. <laughs> 14. We was exploring was each other. not 14. We was fucking 14. We was not 14. 15. Oh, 15. 15. Just turn. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, so, but, so we've been having sex a long time. <laughs> okay. You need to space it different up. Stages, Is that though, where you're yeah. going? But we've done all that. We've you've spiced been, it up. You've been we've through it everything. Yeah. I've dressed as a Spice Girl <laughs> once, you know. That was... <laughs> we've not dressed up. Um, no. Oh, no, we haven't actually. Amy have you Winehouse? ever? Have you Did ever... you keep the Amy Winehouse? Didn't no, you dress up? No, I couldn't have. Boy Didn't... George, that was a good one. No, Boy no, George, no. it no, but it wouldn't work. Has there ever been like role, role play? Role play, yeah. Yeah, we have done a little Do bit. You of that, I, yeah. I, I sense that you like that, yeah. Mm. No, I've only done you're it always, But you're always the dominant figure. You like to just imagine that you know, he's somebody else. I have to be else. submissive, which I like. <laughs> Do you ever pretend you're Enrique? Uh, I can't put no. it off, but <laughs> no. I mean, look at me. I mean, can I? <laughs> I mean, I've got some tinted moisturiser on, but it's not enough. I want you to be Enrique. Yeah, but I'm not Enrique. No, no. 
All right. My geezer out of EastEnders. <laughs> you know. I know. What do we say? What do we say to this girl? I would then? say, listen. Uh, he, he's he's get he's a bit. So listen, too... he's not turning her on. She's got her elbow. It. Right? I think he's saying yeah. stuff that's too much well, for her. Yeah, but what's he saying? This is the thing, like because well, yeah, it's, it, again, you've got details. to define what filthy talk is, because you can go to some nutty realms, right? Uh, but but if it's just like you know, get hold of that, you slag and all oh, that. No. You know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You know, like that sort yeah. of Get dialogue. a hold of that. Yeah, but you know, like... Oh, you yeah, bitch. but if he's like... Yeah. That, that would put me off. Good. Yeah. No, not if I was doing it in a Mancunian accent, it wouldn't, would it? Get hold of that, you fucking slag. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm more, um... I'm more likely to say funny things than yeah. sort of sexy, dirty things. Yeah. You I'm do just, make me laugh a lot. I'm just the constant... What, during sex, you're yeah, laughing? Yeah, yeah, Honestly, yeah, yeah. there was one time where I made her laugh so much that we had to stop. Like, it just really? came to an end because it was like, well, we can't carry wow. on. Wow. Because we were just laughing so much. See, that's love. Because that could end relationships. But I like, um, I like sort of finishing lines. And I've come up with a few, a couple of, a couple yeah, of times. Yeah, you have said some weird stuff. So, well, uh, one mean? of my favourites is Geronimo. At, at the end. <laughs> at the, at yeah. the end. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, Geronimo. Another yeah. one is... What's uh, this sell it bang guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. bang and the dirt is gone. <laughs> 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 See, Ka I'm always... <laughs> Kawabunga, you should try. Kawabunga, that'd Kawabunga be a good... Kawabunga dudes. Kawabunga dudes. That'd, that'd be a good yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> that's a mama. That's good. That's quite restrained. I don't know can... what that says about me that I'm more interested in that Silly than like do you know what the problem... than being a bit sexy and a bit dirty. Do you know what the problem naughty. with this podcast? I'm more interested in making you laugh. Yeah. Do you know what the problem with this podcast is? We've sort of forgotten where we are as for. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. this was a conversation for tomorrow. That was right. That was quite intimate. It was. Yeah. That, that was quite intimate. So, James, it's got to go in, though. James, what's your advice for this young lady um, whose boyfriend is just getting a little yeah. bit yeah, too... Yeah, I think, listen, I'll I am, get rid of him. You, you're not um, into it? No, no you, you don't have to, to get rid of him. No, I'll get rid of him. You don't have to go straight for the I'll Joe Root. How awkward well, let's is start, it? Let's, go, let's start with you, then. Go on, what's your uh, advice to this, if someone this poor was, young treacle? If someone was really... Talking She's making him un to he's me. making her uncomfortable. And I'm uncomfortable, then I would literally... I would be like... I would get up. But would you want to, Would you not want no, no, to talk to him about it? I would say to him, "You are a pig. Oh, you I don't make think... me feel uncomfortable." You go, "Yeah, I know I'm a pig." Ah, like yeah, that, that was you know, terrible. He's gonna love That's all right. Yeah. <laughs> you are a pig. You're a fucking bastard. Yeah, keep going. <laughs> Danny, what's your... Do you think she should talk to him? Because she's made a highlight of him being... He's quite an, an introvert. introvert. Yeah. He's so I not... think that pisses her off in the first place. Yeah. Right. That he's sitting there all shy. Ain't got no bunny round him. No, bunny, probably, rabbit, means no, talk. No, but she probably likes okay. that. No, she probably... she's brought it up. Don't bring that up, then. No, but she... You know, don't no, talk but that's, about that, that's what he's, she's, she's saying. saying she's saying there's is. such a ju juxtaposition. Yeah. So she he's likes very him introverted being introvert, and he's very and sweet. And she very doesn't nice. want him to be... But as soon as we get into the bedroom, he turns into a bit of a deviant or whatever. Yeah, well, I'd say... So... I would say... It's just a conversation. He's not the one. Really? Yeah, because I think once you get into the dialogue again, can you not speak filth to me? Then it gets That's awkward in the bedroom. Do you know what? And once it gets awkward in the bedroom, you're fucked. Well, you're well not fucked. do you know what, right? There's... um. No, you are. No. After the well, set... Not, I think oh, I when you're going, you listen, can, can you not... Is it all right if you do don't? Do you know what? Do he might me, know so. that he's so introverted. He might know that he's that he's putting this thing on because maybe he thinks that's what he should be doing. He was, yeah. And it, he might go, oh, do I not have to do oh, all God, that? Thank God for you, yeah. That'd be great. Well, that means they don't know each other at all. Yeah. That's true. No, because it's... Because if he know, thinks the only way she gets off... You can off. never really know someone. <laughs> you can never really know someone. That's right. right there. So you that's don't. fucking... That's, that's deep shit, that is, by You the way. don't. You don't. Okay. Right. The so, so basically elbow him, if you can. Well, <laughs> conversation. Two years, it's a two-year relationship. Got, yeah, no, he's got to go. Yeah, but it's a two-year two relationship. A time. It's a, you know, after a two-stretch, you're looking at... Yeah, unless you've had two kids you, you by then. You commit by two years you know. and you fuck them <laughs> off. Have a conversation, but I think if you're not compatible in the bedroom... Yeah, if, if you're really... Yeah, if he's really missing that far. Yeah. Incompatible then. in the bedroom. What does that What's mean? more important, sex or just like being wrapped around each other in general? Because sex is, is, is quite important. No, I would say more being with each other every day is important. Yeah, yeah you but, would, then, but when you, you, you meant to be intimate with each other. Yeah, okay, you're going to say yeah, that, yeah. yeah. No, we are best friends, though. Yeah, I There know. is nobody I would rather spend time with than you. Yeah. Part yeah, you of the job. Yeah. 
Yeah. That's a beautiful thing to say. But you just don't, don't want to have sex with him. No, so. that's it. No, yeah. Not so. often. That's the message I'm getting. Sort of no. Loud and no, 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 clear. No, 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 no. I do. I'm not having sex with anybody else. If I'm going to do it, it's going to be with him. Oh, but yeah. it's just whenever. Oh, thank the Lord. <laughs> it's just, you know. Do you know. And do you know what? I, I'm going to bring this up now. Maybe a little bit of dirty talk from you would help. No, <laughs> because, I can't. Because I can't your do dirty that. talk is, is things like. Hurry up. Go on then. <laughs> No, yeah. no, but she's Scottish like and everything. It's like, you shut your mouth. There was one time, <laughs> there was one time and you literally said to me, make it quick. Yeah, yeah I feel like that was more than And I said time. to you, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, sometimes you just got to do your wife duties. Come on, hurry up, let's go. Yeah, quick, yeah. quick, 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 quick. Right, the end of this podcast is, is upon us. Um, what we like to do at the end of In Sickness and In Health cool. is have a vow of change for each other. We, we, so we look back... We usually will grow as a couple, me and Claire, when, we, when it's just us two. Every time we grow and become closer. We'll, and discuss, we'll discuss stuff course. that we would like improved. Can you, know, you not tell? Improved. <laughs> no, fuck me, yeah, I, I get it. I've, 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 set, I've can see the growth. Whether it's through what we've just talked about or whether it's the week you've had or the month you've had, maybe the Christmas you've had, I don't know, whatever. Um, you can have a vow of change for each other. So, just for this week, is there one thing that you would like to say, do you know what? Do this for me. Or don't do this for me. Well, you find it, me. Do you want to go first? Okay. Well, no, I would say that actually you, you find us at a point well, we're banging love. You are. To this You're week, happy. I want to change fuck off. I'm so excited for tomorrow. Then we're coming run your house well, tomorrow. Well, wait a minute, because it might. <laughs> you know, could go. I mean, I mean, <laughs> this might be yeah. the thing that. It's still, you know, you've still got a few still hours. Still got a few but hours. But hours to anything go. can happen. That's which true. Which is one of the reasons why I'm banging love with her because <laughs> I'm on my toes constantly. Correct. Always on the back foot. I like it. Yeah. Um, so at the moment, it's all really slipped into place. Yeah. Wow. Literally, we had a rollabout, didn't we? The other <laughs> Danny! Well, are you just fucking talking about dirty talk and fucking... Yeah, but it's not been for a long faces? time. No, so, so <laughs> actually we've connected again. And actually at this point I'll go... Uh, there's nothing I'd want to chat. I want to keep it as it is. Right, so what She's you're saying... She's going to say the complete opposite. No, 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 no. What you're saying is you don't want her to go back to how she was. No, I don't want the pair of us to go back to the hatred and the, right. you know, the sort of... Uh, you know that. I know, but <laughs> our lunches the are violence, our you know, lunches are so boring when you're when you're in you, love. You, no, you'll be loved up tomorrow. We'll, we'll, we'll play we'll play a killer on, on the new we'll ball do, table. What can we do tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, play yeah. Play killer, yeah, have yeah. a nice ruby, okay, a few okay. more spellers. Yeah. Uh, is there anything you'd like to change about me? <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm quite grateful for you this week, only because he's come to the front with the builders. Right, you have like saved me this week. Is this because you've turned on the builders? She's turned on the builders, by no, the way. I have this turned is the on one, but I didn't expect them to I thought, disappoint us in. I thought we were going to be sat here for about a week. Yeah, I know. <laughs> trying to whittle it down to one. No, you caught no. us at a good time, baby. Listen, so don't wow. I'll take it. I'll, we will I'll take, take that. It. He saved me this week. He saved my heart. Been a hero well, that is beautiful. Way. No, it's beautiful. I don't really like doing the vow of change because I feel really under pressure. Because you can never hinky anything. I can't think of anything perfect. for her because I'm just well, like... Well, you've got to think of one every fucking week. You yeah. know, that's, that's... Claire's I've got, always got one. Oh, you've Claire's always got, got one. Claire's got about four so, or five ready to so rattle So do you have out. one this week with us? I mean, for, do you do it now? No, do you, do you... I'm having well, a break, Danny. Oh, you don't want it this yeah, week? Yeah, no, no, I don't want to okay. get into it because we're yeah. all right as well. So let's all be oh, all you're, right you're together. You're always sweet, you two. You don't really kick off. No, we don't. Not no, like us, not like us. No. We, we kick off. We, yeah. Yeah. You know, Fiery, so. isn't it? Must be, you know, you exciting. Yeah. We're just a sort of two We're eight boring. year old yeah, couple. Yeah, we are. We're know. boredom. Right, we'll wrap this up. Thank you so much to our beautiful friends, Joe and Danny Dyer. Don't forget to join us next week. Actually, you read this. I read both stories. All right. Don't forget yeah, to subscribe boring. on all platforms and follow us in Sickness and Health podcast to take part in our weekly polls and to send in any stories, messages or voice notes that maybe you wouldn't tell your partner about. Um, all that's left for Claire to say is... See you next Tuesday. Sorry to disrupt you from drinking your beer there. Sorry.